Hello everyone, what's up? How's your day going? This is Life Work in English with Olga and today we continue learning the English vocabulary and grammar. This is our main topic today. I had a few requests of the people who asked me to focus on grammar more than the vocabulary and today I have my great friend, Mr. Shanar. Shanar. <laughs> who's gonna help me to learn grammar uh, with you and we are going to focus today on the uh, tense that gives a confusion to a lot of people uh, because they don't have this type of tense in their own language which is the present perfect tense okay Shanar, uh, where are you from? I'm from Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan, yes. great. So, Mr. Baku, yes. right? Baku yes. over here with us. It became my daily language. So, I'm working in uh, abroad. So, I'm talking in English every day. Um, but um, exactly like Anatoly, either I'm advanced or uh, I'm, I'm intermediate. All right, so, cool. So yeah. today we're gonna check the level of yes. Mr. Shanar. Yes. I will put the list under the video of the best movies for learning grammar. And today, one of the best movies... Like 30 decades ago. Not 30 <laughs> decades, 3 decades ago. Uh, <laughs> it's years. called The Shawshank Redemption. Redemption. Yeah. yeah, have you watched the movie? Um, once or twice in my life, um, but I loved it. Uh, do you remember the story of the movie? Um, yes, uh, as I remember, uh, the guy is innocent, uh, but um, I, I don't know, like, uh, coincidentally or uh, mistakenly, he got uh, in jail. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, he knows his all rights uh, and he knows the law uh, very well. Then he's starting, uh, I don't know, to, to start a fight uh, for his freedom. Um, then he's he's getting in fight in the prison with uh, other inmates. Do you remember how the main character got out of the prison? He's digging a tunnel. Yes, yes, yes with yes. a small hammer. Yes, he was digging the the hole for twenty years yeah, to yeah, get yeah. out of I that remember. prison. Get busy living. You get busy dying. Get busy living. Or get busy dying. That's damn right. First, we're gonna talk about uh, what is the present uh, perfect tense mm -hmm. and uh, why is it a confusing tense. Mm -hmm. Your language. Which language do you speak? Azerbaijan language. Azerbaijan yes. language. Okay. In your language, do you have a tense? that um, starts in the past but finishes in the present yes in my language everything is possible <laughs> <laughs> all right yes you can okay. do anything you want young people please prove it <laughs> right in the comments yes. if he is right yes. okay <laughs> yes you have this yes type um, of yes uh, i'm telling you I'm, I'm serious like you can do anything uh, you want in my language so you can use any tense you want all right i i can't uh, agree or disagree because i don't speak as a virtual yes. language I will so you just, have no way you have to i will yeah, just believe yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> that's fine uh, at school where i used to work for many years this tense uh, was a hard uh, give was giving a hard time to my students because they couldn't understand how to use it let's right. find out what's uh, Present perfect tense. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> cool. I'm very excited, by the way. Really? Yes. Wow. Let's, let's, let's get started. Mr. Dufresne, describe the confrontation you had with your wife the night that she was murdered. It was very bitter. She said she was glad I knew that she hated all the sneaking around. Follow her? Went to a few bars first. I think mostly I wanted to scare them. When they arrived, you went up to the house and murdered them. No. I got back in the car and I drove home to sleep it off. Along the way, I stopped and I threw my gun into the Royal River. I feel I've been very clear on this point. All this part, they are talking about... Mm, 
what happened, right? Mm -hmm. All of this uh, conversation in goes in which tense? Ah, in past tense, of course. In past. I got back in the car and I drove home to sleep it off. Yeah? How can you understand that this is the past tense? Because um, I know I know the uh, ir irregular verbs uh, that they are changing in their uh, pa past tense. Uh, for example, God is from the get, so get, God, God. Okay. Uh, also, they drive, drove, driven. Amazing! Yes. So we remember the irregular verbs yes, from I school, do. right? Yes. yes uh, by the way, in in school, how many lessons of English you had mm, per week? You, you do you remember? Week, yeah. Uh, Two times, day, three but, times. Uh, it was at least three times, I think. Yeah. Yes. That's nice, because in my country it's two. But I was not a good student, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check yeah. it today. Past tense. It's the second form of. Yes, those uh, irregular yes. verbs yes she said that she was glad said in the past was in the past uh, that she hated why here is not the second form hated okay because it's regular verb. it's regular so uh, what is it, what, it, what it, is happening it's made, it's made with adding uh, ed at the end of okay. the verb here in the end of their conversation he says i feel i've been very clear on this point mm -hmm. Do you see here the second form of the verb? Yes. Which one? It's been. It's the second form. Uh, part, past participle. Okay, the first form is... Ah, the sec second form. I'm so sorry. It's the thir third form, actually, I said. It's the third form. Yes, yes. It's not uh, there, the second form. There is not the second form. Yes. This is the tense that we are going to learn now. Great. Sorry. Okay, so we can see it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we can see how it's formed. So it's totally different from the past simple, yes. right? This apostrophe, a v e. What is this? It's I have. The Great. Show. Like I have, you have, but he... Has. Has. So we have two forms, have and has. Yes, yes. And then we have the third form yes. of irregular verbs and plus ending ed if it's not irregular. Why do you think here I've been very clear on this point, the present perfect tense is used? Why not the past? Um, because, uh, all right, this is something happened uh, in past and finish on that point so he says i feel i feel now right at this moment that all this time that i was telling you the story that happened in the past mm -hmm. i've been clear so it's happened in a, cer a certain period of time in past so. but it's fi it's happening until yes. now let's have a closer look into a difference between simple past and present perfect in British English, the use of simple past and present perfect is quite strict. As soon as a time expression is given in the past, you have to use simple past. But if there are no signal words, you must decide if we just talk about an action in the past or of its consequence or result in the present is important. So please note that the following explanations and exercises refer to British English only. In American English, you can normally use simple past instead of present perfect. And today we're going to see a lot of examples of that. While choosing which tense to use, you have to understand is it a certain time in the past or it's an action that just happened, already happened, or not yet happened. Examples. I phoned Mary two minutes ago. It happened two minutes ago. No connection with the present. I have just phoned Mary. The action started in the past, but finishes right now. And this is the result. We are moving to a listening practice and we're going to decide which tense is used in this song. Simple past or present perfect? When she was just a girl, she expected the world. Great guys, it's an example of past simple. 
is it a certain event in the past? Or how often it has happened so far? Examples. He went to Canada last summer. It happened last summer. This is a certain event in the past. Have you ever been to Canada? I've been to Canada twice. Meaning how many times? Starting from past until now. But it flew away from her reach So she ran away in her sleep And dreamed of para, para, paradise We can hear in the song that the action happened at a certain time in the past and has no connection with present. We can hear the verbs in the second form and with the ending ed. It's definitely a simple past. You want to emphasize on an action or result. Examples. I bought a new bike. It happened in the past. This is your action that you did in the past. I have bought a new bike. So it means that I bought it and I have it today. I have it now. It's a result in the present. I paid my dues time after time. I've paid my dues. I have paid my dues. An example of present perfect emphasizing that the action is still happening in the present. He started paying his dues in the past and he continues today. I've done my sentence but committed no crime. I've done my sentence, meaning it's a result. I'm still doing it today. But committed no crime, it's the action happened in the past that has no connection with the present. And all of these examples you can hear throughout the whole song. And bad mistakes I've made a few and we have some signal words that would help us understand. So that's yesterday, ago, in 1990. The other way, the last... Something. The other day, yeah. and uh, last summer, last week, yeah. and so on, yeah? Yes. And the present perfect, we have just, just... Already, up to now, until now, or till now, uh, ever, yet or not yet, so far, Lately, Lately and, and recently. Cool. So these words will always help us understand which tense to use. So a little task for you All right. to challenge your knowledge about their mm -hmm. irregular verbs. Open. Right. And the present perfect simple will be I have opened. Great. He write. I wrote. He. He has written. Amazing. Yes. Great. Uh, they did. They did. They have done. Cool. I have a great student over here. Swim. I'm not sure about that. Swim. Uh, swim. Is, is it, is it okay. regular? Okay. I have an irregular verbs list over here. So let's go to letter S and check if we have swim in this list or not. W, w W must be there. That's one of the most useful words. Yes, swim, swim. Yes, yes, yes. I actually remember swim, but it's not swim. Swim, swim, swim. Yes. All right. Okay. So, so you mention it swim. Swim. And uh, you, you have, have swam. 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 Sorry, swam. Okay. Yes. Uh, so she gave, and she has given. She has given. Yes. Great. The word already we use in a simple past or present perfect? Uh, already uh, it's present perfect simple. Present yes. perfect. Started in the past yes. but finishing now. Okay, just? Just uh, it's simple past. No. Also started just now. 
finished right. the, yeah um it's a little bit complicated for me i don't know yeah because um in speaking actually we're using um just for example i just did it i don't know it's, it's very complicated for me. sure because sometimes uh we are pointing on the action not on the result right and sometimes these two sentences especially in the american english can be substituted mm -hmm. that's why it's confusing yeah. the british english will not allow you the uh, in the grammar mm -hmm. to mix them but american well, yes two years ago it's easy it's a single verb for simple past of course it's past it's ago it happened action in the past yet um is a second word for um not yet done so it's a uh, pre uh, present perfect simple yes it's done yesterday yesterday is uh, the simple past and we are making our sentences yes mm. mary the lottery last year so last year it's action in the past or it's the action that started in the past and finishing now it's in the past action in the yes, past so, it's so gonna we be mary won the lottery last year okay prepare already um it's gonna be a present perfect simple i have already prepared dinner so basically you remember how it's formed uh, because the other people I'm not are sure talking where, where this I'm way. Way. but it's in your head yes, right yes. so mostly it's coming from the movies and the songs yes. the way the people talk it just comes into your head like for little kids yes and you uh, just saying it without realizing that it's gonna be like that yeah. it's why guys always watch the movies in the original language don't forget to leave the comment <laughs> Okay, uh, James find your ring in the garden yesterday. Yesterday it's... Um, uh, the simple past. Sure. So, James found your ring in the garden yesterday. Great. Uh, he come just home. So, it's uh, going to... Okay. So, according to the UK English, the British English, so it's going to be uh, present perfect simple. So uh, the sentence uh, will be, uh, he has just come home. Sure. Yes. Or in the American way, we can substitute and we can yes. use both. He just came home. We yes. can say this yes. way, it's okay. And by the way, today we will see the examples of that. All right. Uh, they buy their car two years ago, also easy, two years ago. Yes. Actually happened in the past. They so have they bought their car two years ago. So which tense are we using? They have bought. They have bought. Yes. Uh, so present perfect or past simple? It's uh, uh, present perfect. Why? Why not? Why not? Okay. Actually, so you have the card the now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. Yes, you should yes, be sorry. Right. It's, it's fine. Like we are learning. <laughs> right. Yeah. So two years ago, yeah, 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 it has already, no connection the car, yeah. with the present. Yes. True, so true. Uh, it's not the result. It's just the action or the fact that too. happened in the past. All right. So we continue. I'm Andrew Dufresne. Wife killing banker. Rumor has it you're a real cold fish. What do you think? I'll tell you the truth. I haven't made up my mind. <laughs> I haven't made up my mind. I haven't made up my mind. Yes. So I haven't decided yes. basically uh, what to think about you. Like I still uh, don't know you. Yes. Okay, so this is the example of positive or negative sentence. Um, it's negative sentence. Negative sentence. Yes. So we can say uh, the for how we form it. So we have have or has, then we do not, and we can connect them together, haven't or hasn't, and then the verb in the third form, which is make, made, made, made up my yes. mind. Okay. Well, it's for shit. Wasted a little fucking year of my time with this bullshit. Feel bad? Let him down? Oh, that's crap, kid. He's proud of you. We've been friends a long time, so I know him as good as anybody. So I have been. We've. Yes, been, sorry, I, I have yes. been. We've been yeah. We have been friends a long 
time. time. So yes. what he means? He means that we've started uh, and, and being it, friends in, past, uh, yes. in the past, but continuing. we are still yes. friends today. So this is the process that he is showing us with this grammar tense. A month in the hole. It's the longest damn stretch I ever heard of. Well, are you saying that Andy is innocent? I mean for real innocent? Yeah. Well, it looks that way. Sweet Jesus. How long has he been here now? How long has he been here now? So it's, it's a, a question sentence. Uh, therefore, uh, has moved to the... Before the yes, subject, yes. 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 So how long uh, the... Co co how is it called? Comma? Apostrophe? Uh, ap apostrophe uh, S. So it means actually has. So how long has he been here now? Here now. That's the yes. full sentence. Yes? yes. Okay. Why he is using this uh, the uh, present perfect in this question? So because uh, he knows that he's already here and... Uh, when he cut in, uh, it's happened in past, and still he's he here. Is he here, is here, yes. So with this stance again, he's showing us the process covering yes. uh, this time. Okay. 1947. What is that? 19 years. 19 years. William Thomas. Well, I'll give you the dime tour. So well, this is the time when uh, Andy Dufresne becomes a librarian, you remember? Mm -hmm. And this is the guy who is working there as a librarian. So I wanted to ask you, what does it mean I'll give you the dime tour? Uh, He's talking about library. I don't know what time, but I can guess that he's like, uh, he's going to take him uh, to visit the library he prepared. Uh, just uh, to to look around uh, how, sure. how it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're totally right. So we know the word tour so we can understand the sentence yes. But we don't know the word dime, right? Yes. So that's why I asked you so dime it means it's a small um, Coin like 10 cents mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. So dime tour means um, small um, Tour around very short one because the place is not big the place is just I don't know like a very yes. small room yes. So there is but it's basically there is nothing to see much. Mm -hmm. That's why they can say it like mm -hmm. that Come on Oh, here she is. Shawshank Prison Library. Brooks, how long have you been librarian? How long have you been librarian? librarian. Yes. Again, why he's asking uh, this tense? As the same example as the previous one, yes? How long has he been here? So basically covering... Uh, like from the past to until present. Until today, because yes. until today he is working there as a librarian. Come here on odd five, and they made me librarian in 19 and 12. And in all that time, have you ever had an assistant? In all this time, have you, you, had an ever, have you ever had, had an, assistant? an assistant? You see, here is also the word, the signal word that pointing on the present yes. perfect. Which is which one? Ever. Ever. Yes. yes. So, in the past, if you had an assistant, and in the present, yes, yes. until. This during 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 the time you've became uh, the librarian. Yeah, cool. No, 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 not much to it, really. Well, why me? Why now? I don't know. Might be nice to have some company down here for a change. Hey, look who's here, Maestro. Ah, uh, do you remember when he found um, the music? Well, in the prison and he put it uh, to play yes, all yes, over the prison I, I and they put yes. him in the hole there that's why yes, they're calling him the maestro was it worth it two weeks in the hole easiest time i ever did look easiest time i ever did we've just said that ever is always present perfect look at this so ever means uh something in peak in a certain period of time so you uh, see, Americans, expresses. they substitute yes. present perfect with the past simple yes. guys, and that's why it's confusing. Yes, so he, easiest time I ever did. Why here he doesn't use present perfect? What, what do you think? What's your opinion? I don't know. So we said that uh, past emphasize the action and the fact and perfect 
present perfect emphasizes um, the result mm -hmm. yes so he's saying easiest time I ever did it's the action or fact in the past in his life before that he did before right yes yes I got it oh shit it's in here in, in here that's the beauty of music they can't get that from you haven't you ever felt that way about music you see they look surprised and he is asking haven't uh haven't you ever felt that way about music here again the word ever but present perfect yes. not the simple past why again why what do you think because it's not just the fact in the past mm -hmm. it's have you ever felt it means in the past and until today like until now do you feel that about he wants to ask yes today now do you feel that about the music or not so basically to um, to cover in two questions in one grammar uh, tense to say did you feel it before and do you feel it now yes these two questions we can combine yes, in the present yes, perfect yes. and ask haven't you ever felt and here you see haven't the question in the negative yes, form yes. we are going to work on the questions a little bit okay so we have the bold mm -hmm. word and this is the word that we have to ask the question about they have talked about art at school at school means where yes so then i will form my question like this so where where have have they they talked talked about art about art yeah that's how it's gonna look like yeah. okay jane has got a letter what jane has got what what ha what, ha ha what has jane got what has yes. jane got yes. good oliver has cooked dinner uh, who has cooked dinner amazing karen has read seven pages how many pages has karen read great you're amazing you have heard the song hundreds times how many times have you heard the song great have you learned anything new for you today uh yes i have learned <laughs> yes i have yes you can say yes, yes I, I have, have. Yes. okay what's new for you uh, what you found out today first of all uh so i'm going to watch uh, Shao 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 <laughs> again, <laughs> again? yes okay. uh so that's a lovely movie uh what i have learned actually i can say that um I have renewed my knowledge uh, from the past so because um, I realized that I have forgotten uh, many things actually so guys I hope you enjoyed the video with us the topic was quite serious and the movie as well but uh, if you've learned something new uh, my congratulations you've done a great job so if you'd like to continue with us learning English vocabulary and phrases subscribe to the channel hit the notification button put the like if you like the video and see you very soon have a great day don't forget to leave the comment <laughs> <laughs>